Okay, you're gonna have to forgive that. We might as well call this a separate session. So good day to you and welcome would you shut the fuck up. I'm sorry, for some reason with this game the launcher ten the launcher doesn't like me. Whenever I play this game, the launcher plays in the background. It becomes a real pain. I had to cut the recording twice just to get it to work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reinforce our army from Lifford and hopefully I don't know, it says something I king. I lord. Onward. We're gonna try and fight that army on the open field. They'll be begging for their lives soon. March! Now these men you want to hire a lot of. Galaglier. Now, I know, I'm not sure what a Galaglier is, but a Galaglass, I know, was an Irish lord who served as a mercenary soldier. So I'm going to guess Galaglier is pretty much the same thing. Oh, well, we could always find out. Fierce warriors originally from the western seaboard of Scotland who fled to Ireland and found Ultimately the same thing, mercenaries. So we have a pretty strong army, and we're going to see if we can whip him in the open fields. If we can take Derry off them, we'll have quite a strong city. We'll have quite a strong army. But I want my spies, I want to know what's going on around here. Then, once we've taken Derry, I reckon the public order will be... The public order, I'd say, will be alright. We won't have too much trouble, pub, you know, with public order in Derry. Simply because it's mo it's an Irish city. So what we'll do then is we'll march the army south to take Trim. What we want to do as soon as possible is just drive the English out of Ireland. Because the English are going to have a, lot, have a lot on their plate. They're going to have the Welsh, they're going to have the Barons' Rebellion before long. So they're going to have the, they're going to have their share of problems before long. Something to investigate. They will have their share of problems. So. What we want to do is, we just want to get them off this island. We're gonna do... Oh, he's coming to meet us in battle. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. Come on, fight me. What's he doing? It looks like he's going to try to walk by the fort. The Thole of Carlo. Why not? I don't normally like... Well, I have liked... I have liked Carlo women before. They shall not see me, sire. Send men to garrison. I sire, march! Just in case. I'm not likely to come here, so move those men, move those men to, to the Irish, to, to the Irish fort. Well, what's it called? Ulster Province. Very poetic, and I thought the Irish were famous for their names. We'll build a port here because it's, it's profitable. It'll give us money. We can't really make much at the moment, so we'll just leave it at that. An enemy to crush. An enemy to crush. All right. They'll be begging for their lives soon. I love this. March. This music. It's my favorite. I'm gonna turn the graphics down. No, bugger us. If it crashes again, that's not my problem. First, though, we're gonna save just in case it does fucking crash. This music I got for my PSP, and just before I was going into my history exam, I played this. I was listening to it on the way into school. It captures the essence of a battle. Now this is why we're going to have a hard time. Armoured sergeants, steady infantry, dismounted feudal knights, bloody bastards to bring down because they're heavy infantry, and then feudal knights. But you have Reardra who can carry... Mm, Radir, I'm not sure how they're pronounced. I should, but I don't. To say I was never any good at Irish. So come on! To battle, my lads, to battle! Kill them all! King Brian, he's probably... <laughs> oh, I love this one. Twelve Highlanders and a bagpipe make a rebellion. I think when the English actually colonized the, um, or, well, tried to colonize the Highlands, they made the playing of the bagpipes illegal. I don't know if there's any truth in that, it's just a rumor I heard. But the bagpipe, it's always been considered a symbol of rebellion. So, it wouldn't surprise me if that were the case. And here it is. Our Irish army, led by King Brian. Probably named after King Brian Baru. Irish king in 1014 who drove the Vikings out of our well, weakened the Viking influence in Ireland. Look at yon foeman. Satan's arse must take from over use. Hey! Ah, Irish poetry. Enemy me, I'm an enemy altar. August Natro Crassy, I thought you'd do more than that. Okay, so I don't know what the graphic settings are like. Freedom! Because this game should be capable. It sh 
Should be. I don't know. It's actually quicker here than it is in Rome. Okay. Archers. Archers. We're gonna try and whittle down the feudal knights with these men. These men are going to go gonna go at the front of our line. Yo, you're light infantry, fair enough. Surprise these men. Right, so the key is Look, Stonehenge. Or a what is it they call them? Dolmen, is it? They're moving to us? They are by God. Well, we have the we have the hill, so I'm not really inclined to move. We have the high ground, so let them come. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position my cavalry over here. Horse boys. Oh, the missile cavalry. Well that could be used. They can be useful. Move it, lads, move it! You got English to kill! Bit of a contradiction because I'm English myself, but you know. Knights of England, the Knights of Ireland. And, you know, part of the reason the Normans actually had so easy a time at, com at conquering Ireland was mostly because the Irish were a fractured clan, whereas the Normans were a professional army. Plus, their archers and their cavalry gave them a huge advantage over the native Irish, who just didn't use such things. Deploy, prepare for a charge. So I don't really know whether... They're the ones that are going to cut, cut a hole in our ranks. So we'll send the horse boys in to wear them down. Even that sounds very Irish, doesn't it? Horse boys. Light infantry, pepper them. That's all. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pepper them. Pepper them with javelins. Fire the armored sergeants. Make yourselves useful. A a cheval. No, not all the archers, the few knights. The weapons are probably armor piercing, so. Archers! Notch! Actually, put these men into loose formation. Loose formation makes them less susceptible to arrow fire. Oh, nice shot, lads! Nice shot, artillery! Yeah, whittle, whittle down the knights. Get ready. All right, get ready, lads. They're good. Ready. Charge. Man of Harlech, stop your dreaming. Can't you see their spear points gleaming? The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Where's our... Where are our horse boys? Jesus, we actually broke them in seconds. Now, we had the advantage here because of a charge. We charged. And I'm pretty sure... The enemy general flees like the cavalry Stop is. firing at Press the cavalry, you morons. Right, we've routed their general. And when an enemy runs, it's always a good thing. Now, the only time it's really a good idea to send cavalry into the rear of infantry is when they have their backs turned, which these lot did. And you lot can cease your fire. Artillery... Only half the enemy force remains. That was surprisingly easy. I was expecting these men to put up a much harder fight. Where's our, where are our horse boys? What are you doing? I didn't order you to charge. Run them down. Here, don't you just stand there. Katherna, get in there. Oh, they're dead. Well, never mind. Jesse Javelin. Our horse boys, they wouldn't be ideal for standing and fighting, but because they're light cavalry, they're good at running down defeated enemies. Light cavalry, always good for running down defeated enemies. Knights are the only ones who can really carry a charge. Like these men. The enemy army flees the field. That was after them. That was Cut too the easy. Down. Far too easy. Horse boys, run them down. 
Well, I've underestimated the power of the Irish at any rate. Oh yeah, the difficulty setting for this, I have my difficulty set to medium. Uh, battle and campaign set to medium. I've never really played them on, I've played it in higher difficulties, but I'm not really sure whether I could win on this, you know, in this particular campaign. Because I've never played as Ireland before, so we'll keep things set on medium. Well, they've got left as their general. So how did we do? How did we fare? The English billmen took heavy casualties, but I'm not surprised. Whoa. Heavy infantry. That's how good they are. These men took, are so good they didn't take a single casualty. Infantry. Jesse Javelin. They're actually... Oh, they're light infantry. I, I All thought that, of Christendom will be in awe of the victory we have won here today. I thought, it, I thought they were only skirmishers. There you go. There we go. We butchered them. We lost 60 men. I was expecting, I was expecting far heavier casualties, much heavier. They actually killed 63 of us, meaning we killed... Oh, so three of our men must have recovered. As you can see here, you've got King Brian, who is our man. Eight, and I know we outnumbered them significantly, but I just think our losses were paltry compared to what they could have been. So, this is how many men we deployed. This is how many they deployed. This is how many we lost, which was 60. Pretty good. Then they lost 354, which means their army is virtually crippled. And this is the men we had left. This is the amount of enemies killed, 189. Now, in the medieval series, they introduced something called capturing enemies, which is fairly self-explanatory, how many men you capture. You can either ransom them off, release them, or slaughter them. I don't know whether I want to release them or whether I want to slaughter them, even though the lords themselves were present with the, Eng with the English king in body. In the heart, in the heart, they were of the opposite side. Hmm. Probably Scottish nobles. Ah, feudal knights. As you can see, they're worth a fortune. Ransom. They refused. That's not our problem. They refused, so we slaughtered them. Your foes lie dead at my feet, sire. So, what we're going to do Where's now the is... Fight? We're going to attack Derry. We shall slaughter them, and sire. since we have siege artillery, we can Those attack at once. Won't protect them for long. And that, my friend, well, actually, this is a pretty weak army. S militia. Our heavy infantry will carve a sword through these people. But that, my friends, is for next time. I have a only a limited amount of hard drive space, and I want to do a Let's Derp, and I also want to record some more Mountain Blade. That's a lot of editing and a lot of work. So, I'm going to call it quits for here. But I'm very happy with the way this campaign is going. I'm really looking forward to playing into it, so expect more of this. So if you like it, by all means, stay tuned for the next part. I'm actually really enjoying this. I haven't played, I haven't actually played Medieval in a long time. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Let me know whether you think this campaign's worth continuing. I certainly feel it is. So next time we will kick the the English out of London, Derry, as I am a traitor to my own people. And we shall see you next time. So this has been Fred of Asgarnia, insane as always. Because I'm a paranoid android, I shall save. Aaron. No. No, no. Bit of Irish. Boss in era. Death in Ireland. Alright, so I'm signing off. This has been Fred of Asgarnia. Insane as always. And I'm signing off. <laughs>